And joining us this afternoon is Barry Porter. He is the regional CEO of the American Red Cross in Eastern North Carolina. Barry, thank you so much for your time. We are seeing the pictures out of Florida of all the devastation just starting to assess the damage. What's the greatest need right now there? Well, it's really the three basics that one thinks about from the old Maslow, if you went to uh, college psychology classes, and it, we're going to say it is uh, housing, health, and hunger. Uh, because they're just total disruption to the normal life and nor flow of things that are happening. People aren't going to work. There isn't power. They're having to, to fend for themselves in basic needs. And so that's what we're trying to uh, support is are those three things. Most of all, the housing is really uh, coming around shelter and transitioning from evacuation shelters to long-term shelters. We will see individuals because of these towns and the devastation in shelters for three and four months or perhaps even longer. Yeah, and I know that there are just so many people that are going to be devastated from this. So are volunteers headed from North Carolina down to Florida to help with recovery efforts there? Yes, overall, the American Red Cross, you know, in, anticipated the storm because of predictions that came. We uh, provided volunteers from North Carolina, certainly to support the volunteers already in Florida, from Georgia. So we will continue to send additional volunteers. There are over 780 Red Cross volunteers who went to Florida, uh, but from the devastation, it's going to be a long-term recovery. So we'll be sending more volunteers, rotating people out. Our volunteers typically go for two weeks, uh, and then they work 16 to 18-hour days uh, for two to three weeks, and then we replace them with additional volunteers to try to help uh, them. Uh, All right, and we know that it's still early. Excuse I'm me. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. Someone was talking no in problem. my go ear. Ahead. All right. I know it's still early here in North Carolina, but what do we know or what do we what do we forecast about what the need will be here in our state? Well, but our biggest concern right now is that tornado watch because we saw last year, uh, a couple of years ago, actually with East Isaias with tornadoes that then touched down up in northeast North Carolina. So while we've been monitoring the flooding and working with government partners in case we need shelters, a couple of shelters are open uh, in parts of the community or on standby. We're ready to aid with uh, strike teams to go in and, and provide shelter and then respond to individual families as they may have trees down on their homes or house fires, things of that nature that might spark as a result of this disaster. Well, we know that you're at the ready. We thank you for your time and for the work you do. Barry Porter, the regional CEO of the American Red Cross in Eastern North Carolina. Thanks.